Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are doing my empties for September. So this is almost everything I've used in September. There doesn't seem to be as many products as usual. However, last month I did my empties early because I was going on holiday and the products that I used on holiday, I'm also gonna be including in today's video. Now, obviously I didn't bring back empty products from holiday because that would have been silly. I just took a little picture of them. Um, so I'll be able to insert the pictures here uh, when I'm talking about each product and I'll show you exactly what I used up completely on holiday and yeah what else I used in the month of September. Now just before we dive into this a little disclaimer um, a lot of these products are miniatures I get a lot in beauty boxes and advent calendars but I do try to use all my products up completely before putting them in the bin. I only don't finish a product if it just doesn't work for my skin if it just doesn't agree with me um, but other than that I try to use everything up completely and then I try to recycle the packaging where I can as well. I know there are some recycling schemes in certain stores like Sainsbury's Boots, I think it was John Lewis, um, where you can take your product, your empty products, and swap them for a voucher. Um, I've not actually done that because I'm not that close to any of those stores, but I do try and recycle the packaging where I can as well. All the products that I mentioned in today's video as well, I will leave linked in the description box down below. I didn't actually manage to link them last month because I literally published that video and then it went straight on holiday. So I didn't actually have time to link them, but they will all be linked in today's video down below. And yeah, let's dive into it. So I'm gonna start with the products from Holiday that I used up first. So of course, I used a sunscreen completely. This was one of the SPF 30s that I picked up from Boots, I think. Um, This was nice enough. I always take one of these. Nice brand, nice product, nothing bad to say about it. It's a sunscreen and me and Dan both used it and it was nice. Um, next, of course, we have my absolute favourite, Brazilian Bum Bum Cream from Sol de Janeiro. I took this on holiday, it lasted me a few days, um, because obviously every day I'm showering, I'm moisturising my whole body, and this is just the best. It's so nourishing, it smells amazing, and I just had to take one of these on holiday because it's basically like a holiday moisturiser. Um, so yeah, I finished up one of those. Next, I finished this Aloe Vera Soothing Gel from Holica Holica. Um, now, I actually got this just in case there's any sunburn or anything like that and I was just using this as a moisturiser when I got out of the shower and it was really nice, really soothing, not sticky or anything and yeah, definitely get this one again. This is a really good aloe one as well, so if you are looking for an aloe vera gel, I definitely recommend this one. It's really affordable as well from Look Fantastic. Um, next is my moisturiser that I finished up on holiday. This is from Pestle & Mortar and it's the Hydrate Lightweight Moisturiser. Um, I took this as a night cream, um, I just wanted something lightweight and it's honestly it's such a nice moisturiser, I've used this before and I actually picked up this particular bottle from the Feel Unique Beauty Box so it was an option on there and I picked it up, really really gorgeous product, really lightweight but really hydrating at the same time, um, not really much of a scent to it, it's just such a lush moisturiser so I definitely definitely recommend this one, this is one of my favourite moisturisers I think, um, yeah day or night it was perfect, doesn't have SPF in or anything so I could wear it at night time as well. And yeah, it was just a really, really nice moisturiser. So yeah, definitely recommend that one if you're looking for a nice lightweight moisturiser. Next, I finished my skin, hair and nail gummies. Um, I did actually only take enough to last me the whole 10 days. So there was 20 gummies in there and I finished those up. I use these ones quite a lot. They're from the Wicked Gummy Co. Uh, mixed berry flavour. These are just really nice. I just feel like something like this just helps keep everything looking nice. And I don't know, I just really like them. And they taste really nice too. They like sweets. Um, so yeah, I did finish up those. Um, I do recommend those ones. Next, I finished this leave-in conditioner from Way. This is what I was popping in my hair once I'd washed it. Um, I didn't take any of my bigger products with me. I just took this as a little miniature leave-in conditioner. And this just lasted me the 10 days. I ran out on the last day, so I had to make it last. Um, there's only 25 mil in here, so it was a few spritzes um, just on my damp hair before drying it. And it was really nice. It worked well as a leave-in conditioner. I definitely think about getting the bigger version of this if I needed one. Um, it smelled nice, it made my hair really easy to brush. Um, yeah, nothing bad to say about this one, just a very small bottle. Next I finished these Nip and Fab Micellar Rounds. Um, I took these on holiday purely because I thought it'd be nice to just to freshen up in the day, just you know wipe a little bit of sunscreen out my eyes, something like that. Um, and these were fab. These were great as like a quick morning cleanse as well when I was feeling a bit lazy. The pads are doused well in the product, so there's a lot of product there to use. Um, it wasn't dry or anything, it was just really nice and hydrating on the skin. Um, and yeah, I really like them. Next one of the moisturisers I used was this Nivea Organic Aloe Vera Body Lotion. Um, both me and Dan were using this as a moisturiser after we'd had a shower. And this was really nice, super lightweight and obviously it's got aloe in so it's looking after your skin where we got a little bit of sunburn. And what I liked about this is the bottle as well, it, was, it felt like really, really 
thin. And if you look in the bottom corner of the bottle, it says squeeze and roll for the last drop. So basically it's that thin that you can just roll it and you can get every last bit of the product out. Um, I just think that's really nice. It says it's 50% less plastic as well. So yeah, fab, love that. Um, next we finished this product here. Now this is something that I've been taking on holiday for years and years and years. It's called Zhuzh and it's a tan accelerator and it basically preps your skin for getting tan. Not obviously I'm not the most tan person, but when I'm in the sun I do get a decent tan. I just haven't had sun on my body for like three years, which is why I didn't go that tan this time. Um, but yeah, I really like this product. It's also got shea butter and some other really good skincare ingredients in as well, so it does look after your skin. Um, and it's just something that you put on before you put on your sunscreen. So this doesn't actually have SPF in, so I couldn't put it on on its own when I would always put that on. Then put an SPF on top of it and it just helps your skin to produce the melanin and go a nice colour. Um, so yeah, I finished one of those. Um, I then finished my Rimmel foundation. Now if you remember, I had two bottles of this in my pack with me. Um, and I decanted some of the foundation from the new bottle into this one so I could leave that on there. Um, and yeah, I finished that one off. This is definitely more my shade once I've got a bit of colour on my skin as well. Um, so I was mixing it, um, I'd say probably 90% this, 10% Estee Lauder uh, Double Wear, uh, which is normally my natural shade. Um, and yeah, it's a really nice foundation, really nice coverage, and I was wearing this in the evenings. I didn't really wear foundation in the daytime. Um, I was using my Aborian CC water um, or nothing. But yeah, at night time I was always using this, I really like it. And those are all the products that I used up completely on holiday. Obviously I did use a lot more products but they weren't completely finished. Some of them I've finished since being back um, and some of them I'm still using. But yeah, it kind of gives you an idea of what I actually used when I was there compared to what I packed. So let's dive into my actual physical empties this month. So let's start with masks as usual. Now masks, I've used quite a lot of eye masks to be honest. Oh, that's a lip mask. Okay, eye masks then, I've used, okay, I've used four eye masks. So the first one is the Elemis Pro Collagen Hydrogel Eye Masks. These were in the Look Fantastic Beauty Box for September. And that's the packaging for them. Absolutely love these. Really, really nice and hydrating under the eye area. It's part of the Pro Collagen range, so it's looking after your fine lines and wrinkles. It's anti-aging and these are just fab. I really like these and I will always use those. So yeah, 10 out of 10, my favourite. Um, next I used the three of these 111 Skin Rose Gold Illuminating Eye Masks. Now these, I got a pack of eight in the Cosmetips Maura Higgins bag. Um, now the box of eight is £75, they're so, so expensive. I could never buy a full pack of these, but I used three of these and they're really nice. They're kind of like a jelly mask and they just sit perfectly underneath your eyes. And they're just really nice and hydrating, I really like them. It says it's infused with antioxidant rich colloidal gold and rose damask extract for a lasting luminosity and a brighter eyed appearance. I mean, I don't know if I saw that, but I really enjoy using eye masks like this. I just feel like I'm looking after my eye area when I do, so yeah, I love those. Next, I used this lip mask from Patchology. I do really like this brand for masks, they are really nice. And this was kind of like a jelly mask, so you just pop it over your lips and leave it. And some of them, honestly, aren't that great, but I feel like this one and the Vita Masks one always like really hydrate my lips. Um, so yeah, I do really like these. If my lips are just a little bit dry, um, or just need a little bit of hydration. Yeah, really, really nice. Yeah, would use those again, 100%. Um, next, I've got a uh, Garnier Moisture Bomb Sheet Mask. I actually bought this to go on holiday and I used it when I got back because I didn't use a face mask on holiday. Um, yeah, this is nice. There was so much serum in this, it says, infused with a quantity of one bottle of serum. I feel like there's way too much, like there's still serum in there. It's just a lot, so it's very, very wet on your face. It does kind of dribble a little bit, but it means you can get your neck. So you just pat it in there. And yeah, this was nice. Hyaluronic acid and green tea. Nothing bad to say about that one. I liked it. Um, the other mask I used was the Foreo H2 Overdose Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Infused Mask. So this goes with my Foreo UFO 2, which you might be able to just see there. There it is. Um, yeah, this is a little mask that you pop on that, you use it with the app, and it's just amazing. I've talked about these so many times, um, but yeah. Fab little mask, fab little device, love these. Um, then we've got the warming eye mask from Barber Pro. Now, I actually used this. This was in a box, I think, for Dan, but he wasn't using it, so I used it, and I really like these. Um, these are ones where, as soon as you open it, it starts to heat up, and you just wear it to bed, and it's meant to help you fall asleep faster. Uh, it's meant to be soothing, and I honestly fall asleep so fast when I've got this on. So, yeah, it definitely works. The only thing is, obviously, it's just one use, and then, 
it just goes in the bin. So it's not great for the environment, but it's so nice and relaxing. It's just like, yeah, I like them. Okay, next we've got the facial radiance pads from First Aid Beauty. This little pack here. These are fab. First Aid Beauty, fab. Um, yeah, I really like these. You get 10 in here and these are fab for just a quick exfoliate in the morning. Yeah, they're not harsh at all. They feel really nice. Um, but again, they are just single use and then you just have to put them in the bin, so it's not great. Um, but yeah, I definitely use them all up. Okay, this is not going to be in any order because I'm just going to grab things. I'm just going to go with it. Okay, next then we've got from Solar Janeiro the Beige Floor Elastic Cream. This is the pink one. This smells unreal. It smells like perfume. It's so nice. Mmm. And it's one of those, like, well, all of the ones from Sol de Janeiro, like the scent lingers on your skin once you've like massaged it in. You can still smell it the next day. It's really, really nice. But this says it contains retinol mimicking cacae oil and plant collagen. Um, so yeah, it keeps your skin looking young and it just smells amazing. Obsessed with these. I will always use these. Um, I just think they're amazing. They're just so nice on the skin. Really nourishing. The only thing is, I, they're very difficult to get out of the bottom when you've got nails on. I have to like put my knuckle in like this because I don't really want it down my nail, but other than that, it's perfect. Um, next, we've got a makeup product. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder Translucent. This is empty. Now, these powders seem to last me forever, um, and this was lasting me forever. All gone. Um, and yeah, it just became empty a couple of days ago. So yeah, this was nice. Um, it's quite white, so as you pop it on your skin, if any drops onto your clothes, you do get little white powdery bits, like talc. So it's difficult to get off without messing up the top. So don't wear the top you're gonna be wearing to go out in if you're doing your powder. Um, and yeah, it does kind of get a bit everywhere. But it was a nice powder. Um, I've now moved on to the By Terry powder, and this is 10 times better though. When you put this on, so this looks like it's very white, the powder. But when you pop it on your brush and then pass it in, you're not left with any white. It like, I don't know, it just does its thing immediately and leaves your skin looking perfect. Whereas this one, you, if you patted it onto your skin, it's white powder first and you have to kind of blend it. So yeah, I much prefer this one. It was nice. I'd definitely use this one again if I got it. But I just think the By Terry one is actually better. Next, I use this little sample of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This was in the Shop My Stash last month and I used it up. It was just this little pod inside. There wasn't much at all. Um, it was just one use and I love this cream anyway but because it was a sample that I got I decided to use it up anyway and I really like it. It's my favourite so yeah I will always get that one. Okay next we've got this moisturiser from Corez and it's the Wild Rose Brightening and First Wrinkles Advanced Repair Sleeping Facial Vitamin C. Now this one was sitting in my bathroom for ages and then I just decided to try it and it's so nice. So I was using this as a night cream. Yeah, it smelled really nice. I can't remember what it smelled like that, but I remember it smelling nice. Yeah, slightly perfumed. Um, really nice on the skin. It's such a nourishing night moisturiser. And it's looking after your skin as well. Brightening and first wrinkle advanced repair. So I'm not complaining about that. And it smells like a vitamin C. It's got some really good, really good ingredients in it as well. Um, but yeah, this was great. I would definitely, definitely get this one again. If you're looking for a new night cream, this is one that I would recommend. Next, I finished from Aborian the Pink Perfect Cream. I was using this as a primer, and, and if you watch my grease vlog, you'll see me using it and uh, get ready with me. Um, this is so nice. It's say it's a blur secret glow skin redefining four in one primer. This was so nice. Aborian, I've never come across a product that I don't like. They're all just amazing. This one says it. Provides an instant blur by giving a soft focus effect to the skin. It definitely smoothed out the skin, made it look perfect. Says it visibly minimises the appearance of pores, definitely. Enhance your skin tone with a pearly glow. It does have a little glow to it, it's so cute. Um, and then it says prepare your skin for makeup acting as a primer. Um, it's an excellent face primer. It is really good. My makeup went on perfectly after applying this. Um, yeah, I really, really liked it. And now it's empty. Sad times. I do have more of their products to try though. Um, I've got a little set of four, like we've got the CC cream, I've got another CC cream, I've got the CC water and I'm actually using another primer of theirs at the moment, which is CC Dull Correct. Now this product is actually purple when you put it on, but it like goes to the colour of your skin, it's amazing. So yeah, if you're looking for a new primer, check out Aborium, 10 out of 10. Um, next we've got a cleanser and of course it is my favourite Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This is the regular one, the yellow one, 
and it's all gone. Um, I just couldn't get those last little bits because of my nails. Whereas if I didn't have nails on, my finger would be right in those corners. Um, yeah, this is fab, perfect at removing makeup. Um, you can also use it as a mask and just leave it on if your skin's a little bit dry, needs a bit more nourishment. Um, but yeah, it's, it's perfect. Best cleanser ever. First cleanse, removes makeup, removes SPF, removes everything. And it's really nice, it's not stripping or anything. Next, we've got the Ren Daily AHA um, Tonic. This I've had open for ever. Like, it's lasted so long. And there's a tiny bit left in the bottom there. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice chemical exfoliator. Now, it's got lactic acid in it and azelaic acid, and it basically exfoliates your skin. Now, the Pixi Glow Tonic is actually glycolic acid, which is meant to be stronger. However, when I'm using this sometimes, where I've got like any little bits of dry skin, it does sting a little bit. But if I use the Pixi, it doesn't. So it doesn't really make sense to me. I feel like this is stronger, but it, the glycolic acid is actually like stronger. It penetrates deeper into the skin because of the size of the molecules. Um, but yeah, this one seems to sting a little bit more. But if your skin is not dry, this is perfect. I really like it. Next, we've got from Medicaid the Hydrate B5 Intense Hyaluronic Acid with NMF Replenish and Boost. Now, this I actually took on holiday with me and then finished when I got back. This is a gorgeous Hyaluronic Serum. Really, really like this. This was a little miniature. I think we got this in a little fantastic box. So if you've not tried yours yet, definitely try it, you will love it. It is really nice. It feels nice on the skin, it doesn't peel, it's not sticky, it's just perfect and you know that you're giving your skin a lot of hydration with it. And yeah, I really like it. I think I've got another one of those up there. Um, yeah, I really like that one. Next we've got the Vitamin C Serum from Gin... No, it's not. From Sweet Chef and it's the Ginger Plus Vitamin C Serum. Sharp, brightens dark spots and uneven tone. This was a Vitamin C Serum. I think we got it in the Boots Showstopper last October. It took me ages to open it because I'm faithful to my Dermalogica Vitamin C Serum. Um, but yeah, I eventually opened this one. Uh, it looks like there's a tiny amount left in the bottom, but when you tip it up, there's not enough for an actual use. Um, yeah, this was a really nice serum. Nothing bad to say about it. Soaked into the skin nicely. It wasn't sticky. Didn't smell bad. And you just know that you're getting your Vitamin C as well, um, which is perfect. So yeah, I did actually really like that one. I'm still going to say my Dermalogica is better, but it was really nice. I'd definitely use it again, or if it was on offer or something, I'd pick that up. Okay, next we've got a hair care product, and it's the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer, the little miniature one. Um, This is fab. I know we get this in so many boxes and so many calendars, and it's like everywhere, but it's a really, really good product. Um, So when I use this, I just apply it to damp hair and then leave it. Last time I put um, a shower cap on, I had it on for like two and a half hours before I then got in the shower. But after I've used this, I just feel like my hair is just really soft, it's easy to brush, and it just looks nice. Um, so yeah, I, I'm gonna start using these more often because I do have so many in my drawer. So yeah, but it is fab. If you've got loads of these and you've never tried it, just give it a go. Just dampen your hair like on a, a weekend or something. Um, pop this in, pop a shower cap on, and just leave it for an hour or so. And then shampoo and condition your hair as normal. And just feel the difference in your hair, it's amazing. I really like it. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to try and use more of those more often because I did like it. It's nice. Okay, next we've got this little duo here. It's the Bleach London Reincarnation Shampoo and Conditioner. This was in the Look Fantastic September box. And these were really nice. I was impressed with these. Now, Bleach has a distinct scent. And I remember when I was like 17, I got those temporary like hair dyes from this brand. And the, I've honestly not used this brand since. And then... When I opened this and I smelt it, it just took me right back there. It was really weird. But yeah, really, really nice products. Really nice shampoo and conditioner. My hair felt really clean afterwards. Um, the conditioner was nice enough that I could run my fingers through my hair in the shower. And yeah, it was nice. I would definitely, definitely use these again. Uh, really recommend these. If you've not tried yours from the box yet, then definitely give them a go. Because um, they were really nice. I like them. Yeah, I would definitely get them in full size. Okay, now we've got um, the Olaplex number three. So we've got another hair product. Yeah, this is the Olaplex number three. So it's quite similar to the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer. It's just another hair mask that you put on to damp hair um, before you shampoo and condition it. And it just kind of works works its magic on your hair and keeps it in great condition. It says it repairs and strengthens. This was actually the only one used because it's only a very small tube. And there's 20 mil in there. Um, yeah, I usually use Olaplex number three in the big bottles. This was just a small one that I got somewhere i can't remember now um and yeah i always use this and it's nice i like it how does it compare to the philip kingsley honestly 
I don't think I can tell the difference, but I'm gonna use more of them more often to compare better and then I'll update you. Yeah. Okay, next we've got the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream and I've been using this as a night cream when my Corys one run out or before my Corys one, I can't remember. Um, yeah, this is nice. I love this cream. If you have any dry skin anywhere on your body, this fixes it. It is amazing. Um, and yeah, I was just using this as a night cream. Yeah, no, no particular reason. I just thought I'd use this and it was nice. Um, I always like to have one of these in just in case I get any dry skin because it just fixes it so fast and it's a really nice product, super gentle on the skin, it's not irritating if you've got any dry skin or anything like that, um, it doesn't make it feel itchy, it just seems to fix it and I really like it. Next we've got my favourite SPF from Garnier, it's the Over Makeup Super UV SPF 50. Um, this is fab for just hopping up during the day. I actually almost finished this on holiday but there wasn't enough to just leave it there so I brought it back with me. Um, yeah, this is fab for just topping up over your makeup or just over your skincare and it just keeps you protected during the day. So I was using like an actual sunscreen, like my UV one, um, which other one did I take? Oh, the um, Super Goop one. And then to top up in the day, I just popped this on top and it was great. I love it. I've talked about this so many times in my empty videos and I'll always get that one. Um, it seems to keep selling out though, which is annoying. Um, but yeah, I'll always get that one and I always like to keep a few in. There's another one on my desk there and I've got another one up here I think as well. Uh, yeah, I love that. Uh, we've got another couple of hair products. So we've got the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian, I don't know how you say this, Joya? I don't know, shampoo. This was lush. I was just using this as like a fringe wash. So for me, after I like, after today, it's clean today, but tomorrow my fringe will just need just a bit of a refresh. Now I can just put dry shampoo in there. But it's, sometimes it's easy enough for me to just put my head in the sink and just wash the front bit. So I was using this to wash the front bit of my hair. Um, and then I just put it in the shower and just used it as a full shampoo. And it is so nice. It smells amazing. And yeah, I just really like this. So I usually stick to my same shampoos. But after trying all these other ones now, I like them all. They're just really good. So yeah, I will have that one in full size. Thank you. Um, next we've got a product from Grow Gorgeous, it's the Scalp Detox Exfoliating Pre-Wash Treatment. I've used this so many times in the past, but every single time I've used this, I'm literally just using it for using its sake because it's in my bathroom. I feel like it's difficult to get this on my scalp. So it says you wet your hair and then apply it to your scalp and massage it in. But when I, if you squirt it in your hand and then you go to put it in your scalp, well, I've got so much hair in the way. So I have to kind of like lift it up and just like try and get into my scalp. It's just very difficult to use, so yeah, I don't really know if it does anything. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. But it smells amazing anyway, so yeah, I just used it. But I'll use it if I get it in boxes and stuff, but I probably wouldn't ever buy that. Uh, next we've got a cleanser from Elemis. It's the Superfood AHA Glow Cleansing Butter. Again, all gone, apart from little bits because I couldn't get it with my nails. Uh, this is really nice. It's not quite as nice as the Pro Collagen Balm, but I like this one. So it's AHA, so it's a little bit exfoliating as well. And it's a really nice cleanser. It takes your makeup off well. I even use it to take off eye makeup and it doesn't like sting or anything. So yeah, I like it. Um, yeah, I would definitely get this again, but if I was gonna buy one, I'd always just go for my Pro Collagen one. So unless I got this in a box or something, or in a calendar, but yeah, I would definitely use it. It is a fab product. Next, we've got a body moisturizer from This Works. It's the Deep Sleep Body Cocoon. This is gorgeous. I keep this in my bedroom and just before I go to sleep, I pop a little bit on my arms and on my chest and the smell is just so nice, so relaxing, helps you fall asleep and keeps your skin nice and moisturised as well. So yeah, I love this product. I do have a few more of these dotted about somewhere, but yeah, if when I run out, I will always get this one again because it's just such a nice nighttime moisturiser, keeps your skin nice and helps you fall asleep. Next we've got a shower product. This is the Coco Cocktail from Bilou, uh, creamy shower foam. This was in a glossy box a few months ago and I got around to using it and it was so nice. It's lasted way longer than I thought it would do. Um, but it's one of those where it's like a gel and as you spray it, it turns to foam. So, so creamy on the body. This one is the coconut one and it smells unreal. It's so nice. Um, yeah, love this one. Um, I've got the other, the green one. Was it watermelon? I think in the bathroom as well because I think that I got that one in a generation glossy box. So I've not used that one yet, but this one was really nice. So yeah, I love that. It smells gorgeous. Um, we've got a couple more body products. Um, I've got the Noble Isle Summer Rising Body Lotion. 
this was a nice product not really a fan of the packaging because even when you tip it up it's really difficult to get that last bit out um, and the plastic is quite thick as well to actually like squeeze it to get it out um, but other than that the product itself was really nice I can't remember what it smelled like it was a while ago oh yeah it's quite a strong smell quite refreshing not bad though um, yeah moisturise my skin really nicely no complaints uh, it's probably not the moisturiser I would choose if I was going to pick one up um, but I'd definitely use it again if I got it again. Then I've also used this body lotion from Alien. So this came in a set with my Alien perfume. This one. Um, last Christmas I think. And it just smells so, it just smells just like the perfume. It's so nice. Mmm. Just, it's lush. If you're wearing this I feel like you don't even need to wear the perfume because it's like really strong on your skin. Um, so yeah, if you like the perfume, you'll like this because it's just it's so nice. As a body lotion as well, really nice moisturising, skin felt nice. And it smelled gorgeous, so <laughs> no complaints there, I love that one. Um, next, this is from Nail Bay, the protective hair mask and volume conditioner. This is one that you keep in for three minutes, so I just use this as a conditioner. I spent three minutes in the shower with the conditioner on and then washed it out. I didn't really like the smell of this one. Yeah, no, it wasn't a nice smell. Um, and didn't feel like it actually nourished my hair as much as other conditioners do. So, yeah, it was quite runny as well from memory. But yeah, I wasn't that impressed with this one. Now, I've used Nail Bay before, I've had hand cream, I've had micellar water, and they've always been fine, but just wasn't really a fan of this one. So, yeah, not a hair mask I'd recommend, to be honest. And then finally, the last product is from Beauty Works, and it is the 10 in 1 Miracle Spray. Now I opened this last Christmas and I finished it this month, this is how long it lasts. Uh, this is the 10 in 1 Miracle Spray, it's got 10 benefits, it eliminates fresh, restores shine, nourishes, replenishes oils, protects from heat, detangles, conditions, prevents split ends, enhances natural body and repairs dry damaged hair. Daily treatment. It does a lot, that's a lot of claims there. This smells so nice. So I was using this alongside this product which still isn't empty. Um, I put three pumps of this on first and then I spritz this all through my hair. Um, just like a detangler, a heat protector, um, and then I brush it through and then dry it. And it was amazing, love this. I do have another one in my drawer, but I've moved on to this Girl Gorgeous one next. Um, so I'm using that one first. I'm trying to get some of the minis out of the way because I feel like I've been using this product and this product for months and I'm just accumulating minis. So I'm gonna move on to minis next. Um, but yeah, this is amazing. Really affordable as well. It's about 11 pounds, I wanna say, from Look Fantastic. Last ages and great product. So guys, those are my empties for September. I feel like there weren't actually that many, but it's because some of them were obviously pictures from holiday. Um, yeah, mostly like them all. Um, any new products that I've not tried before. The, so the shampoo and conditioner, very, very impressed with those considering I haven't tried those before. Really like this vitamin C serum as well from The Sweet Chef. That was nice, I like that one. This was amazing from Aborian, definitely, definitely will get that one again. And I was really impressed with this as well, so definitely some wins this month. Obviously we've got my standard products that I love anyway, my Elemis products, my Medicate, um, Hyaluronic Serum, my Body Moisturiser, my Bum Bum Cream, our version of Bum Bum Cream. Um, yeah, I'll always, always get those again. This one was really nice as well from Corres. Yeah, the only ones that I weren't really impressed with this month then are the Nail Bay hair mask and then the Girl Gorgeous Scalp Detox, just not really fussed about those two products. But the rest of them I think were pretty good, so yeah. That is this month's empties. Um, any of these products as well I will leave linked down below. So if you are interested in checking any of these out then feel free to click those links um, and it'll take you straight to the product. Where possible try and link them on the same website as well, so if you did want to pick up more than one product you're not going to 27 different websites to pick them up. Um, I just wanted to mention as well a couple of products that I have received in PR that I'm going to be trying over the next few months as well. So the first one is this product here. This is a brand new brand called Blur London and it's the Cloud Skin Moisturiser. So this is the packaging that it comes in. It's black and white, very minimalist, really like it. Um, I've actually not opened it yet so let's open it together. I've got the open here sign. Oh, I love that box. That's how it opens. Really nice. And then this is the product here. I'm getting kind of Avant vibes with the design of the packaging. It's got like the main ingredients here. Um, yeah, so it's a pump dispenser. 
and it's got it's vegan it's oil free fragrance free it's got white tea ferment niacinamide hyaluronic acid and it helps with mattifying the skin barrier and it's pore minimizing so yeah that sounds really nice i'm going to be using that and then i also got a pr package from aborian which is just amazing little card here and aborian have sent over their best-selling bare skin perfecter skin hero a non-tinted silicon free daily resurfacing treatment so this is the packaging and this is the product i love how they come so this is what the packaging looks like never tried this product before but i know all of it because it's aborian and um, it says it's formulated with ginseng extract glycerin and hyaluronic acid it's an alternative to foundation. It smooths and illuminates the skin whilst leaving it plump, soft and moisturised. Over a seven day period, the skin is transformed with irregularity smoothed out, skin texture is refined and the complexion becomes more even. So yeah, I mean, we've got some pretty impressive results there. After seven days of use, 100% of women said their bare skin looks transformed. 100% of women said it improved the quality of their skin and 100% of women said the texture of their skin was smoothed. That sounds amazing. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna be trying out. So yeah, if you're interested in either of those products or you want to try them out with me, then I'll leave those linked down below. Um, yeah, very excited to try this as well. So that is everything for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit longer this time because I've done my empties, my holiday empties and some PR as well. But if you did enjoy it, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and also hit subscribe and I'll see you soon for another video.